Hey, what's up, YouTube? Riding with Dad. Right back at you. Tony and Alex are in school. Adderance Marin's around town. Figured I'd bring you with me. Got uh, something that I really want to discuss. It's really bothering me, bothering me actually. It's not something I wanted to talk about right away, right after it happened, because I think it's in poor taste to um, politicize a tragedy. But this is something that needs to be addressed. And now that a little bit of time has passed, I'd like to do so. One of those current events being what happened in Paris and the uh, world crisis that we're having right now with ISIS. One thing that really bothers me, guys, that President Obama says uh, when he talks about shootings that have happened, these type of events don't happen in other civilized countries. Then he also said that uh, he had a fairly good handle on ISIS and um, that was on Friday morning and then of course Friday evening um, the tragedy happened in Paris with um, like 130 people getting murdered. You know, sadly our president's been pretty silent about it, which is a damn shame. It blows my mind that after a shooting happens, President Obama's on TV immediately, within hours after the shooting. And he's on TV to politicize it. See, I carry a gun. I'm a law-abiding gun owner. And I have a concealed handgun license. And I'm carrying a gun right now. And I don't go anywhere without my gun. And the reason that I do so is because I'm a firm believer that when something happens, God forbid, something tragic happens, 911 is only minutes away when seconds count. At the end of the day, I'm responsible for my fucking safety. I'm responsible for my family's safety. Nobody else is responsible for that but me. That guns are already pretty much illegal in Paris. But what happened? ISIS showed up with tons and tons of fully automatic AK 47s and uh, turned into a bloodbath. So remind me again exactly how gun control works, please. So let's talk gun control for a minute. Let's talk Chicago. Let's talk New York. Let's talk Los Angeles. Dad, you're fucking nuts. You've lost your damn mind. Of course gun control is the problem. Damn it, if we had more gun control in the United States, these mass shootings would stop. These mass shootings wouldn't happen anymore. Look at Chicago. They've got all the gun control in the world. Shootings don't happen there. That kind of shit doesn't happen. Look at New York. Can't even fucking buy a gun in New York, hardly. This kind of shit doesn't happen in New York. You don't find fucking dead bodies riddled with bullet holes on the fucking street. Oh, wait. New York's a bad example. How about L.A.? Let's look at South Central L.A. You don't see the... Oh, shit, wait. This is going to be my one political tirade that you'll get on this channel. Well, maybe. We'll see. See what kind of reaction I get to this video. If you tell me that I'm a conservative, gun nut, piece of shit, well then that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. And not only are you entitled to it, I respect it. Because it's guaranteed to you by the Constitution of the United States under the First Amendment. Just as I'm entitled to my opinion. And not only am I entitled to my opinion, I'm also entitled to the Second Amendment, which is the right to keep and bear arms. I'm also entitled to the right to ride my fucking motorcycle any way I want. Well, no, maybe I'm not entitled to that. I'm just kidding. That's a privilege. Driving is a privilege. 
you are not guaranteed the right to drive. You are guaranteed the right to freedom of religion, the right to freedom of speech, the right to keep and bear arms, and that shall not be infringed. That's, it really is that simple. You know, if Barack Obama had any type of supporting evidence that gun control worked, I would look at it. I would consider it. But it's not there, guys. It's not there, and it doesn't exist. Gun control does not, has not worked, nor will it ever work. And, you know, it's really sad that something like a right, something like, you know, the Second Amendment, has to be politicized. Democrats versus Republicans. Because <laughs> it's not about a political party. So why does the Second Amendment carry that connotation to it? Eh, red light, I'll stop. Ah, figures. Just as I was getting on a frickin' rampage in a tirade. Jeez, it's fucking hot. I don't give a shit. I'm riding. Any hot day riding is better than a frickin' comfortable day not riding. Getting back to Paris, though. That's not something that should be partisan, either. That's not Democrat. That's not Republican. It's fucking ISIS, man. It's a fucking world tragedy. What the hell? You know, when did this shit become partisan? You know, I'm a Republican, sure, but I respect everybody's opinions. I mean, that's what makes this country great, right? Everyone has their right to their own opinion, and they can think and believe as they want, and I respect that. That should be respected, guys. But you don't sit here, I'm getting back to gun control, funny how it always keeps going back to that. You don't sit here and tell America that this shit does not happen in other civilized countries. Because that's bullshit. That is bullshit. Two things I love to do. Ride and talk. Can't seem to do enough of either one of them. The wife always tells me, Jesus Christ, you don't ever shut the fuck up. I'm usually saying the same thing to her. So, it works. Alright. So, there you have it, guys. There you have it. It's a bunch of bullshit. And I'm going to continue to rattle off my mouth and rattle off my opinions because, damn it, the Constitution allows me to do so. And if you like it, that's great. That's awesome. If you don't like it, you can say, Dad, shut the fuck up. You're a fucking idiot. And you have the right to turn me off. And not only do you have that right, I respect that. That is your right as an American. That's what makes us a free country. That's what makes America great. That's why I love this country. That's why I bleed red, white, and blue. That's why you should, too. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dad. God bless America. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like it. If you don't like it, tell me to fuck off. I'm fine with that, too.